Hello and welcome to Minecraft School, where we've got a patrol going behind us. Um, my name's JD and I'll be your teacher today. Um, so yeah, I'm going to see about taking care of those guys first. But what we want to do today is get ready to go to the nether. So we have a few things we need to do today. And uh, those guys aren't part of it, but I still want to go after them. You know, they've got stuff I might want. Anyways, today's objectives are take care of the patrol, if I can, if they don't despawn, that is. Number two, gather more resources. Now, this is going to be done on live stream. So I will link to the, uh, to the video of the live stream, and you'll be able to watch the entire thing. It's going to be about two hours long, though. Number three, make a bow and fishing rod. And number four, make a nether portal. Now... Let's go take care of these guys. I don't know if they're still there, uh, but we'll go check. This is not exactly important for what we need to do today, but it is something that you will encounter. And... <laughs> oh, great job! They fell down into the ravine. Um, yeah. Um, what in the world are you guys doing? Okay, I'm not. I'm not going after them down there. Uh, the reason is I have no way to get out, but did any of them get around? Now, that's the question. If there are any around here, we could possibly just, you know, kill them. <laughs> but um, if not, oh well, no big deal. Uh, the reason I'm not going after them is because if I do, I will get trapped down there. And you know what would happen? Uh, I have nowhere to go. Uh, they're just going to kill me. Before we go anywhere, we need to smelt all of this stuff. And boy, is that a lot. So one coal will smelt eight of these. So we need eight coal in here. And there we go. And I'm just going to do the rest inside in the furnace. Um, it's just half a stack and it'll take the same amount of time. Uh, one thing that you cannot do is smelt this in a smoker. A smoker is only for food. Uh, so there are a few things that we need to get while we are gathering resources. So I'm going to be going back down into the caves. And as I said, uh, this will be done during a live stream on Twitch. So uh, you can see a link to, the, to my Twitch channel in the description box below. But also it'll be on screen right now. So we will be going in here going down to the caves that we were in last episode and we will be going to find as many things as we can what i want is a lot of diamonds i'd like to get as many diamonds as i can i would love to have a full suit of diamond armor as well as diamond weapons and diamond tools and i also want to find more gold now, gold is very important for one thing in particular in the nether. Now, let me see. Did I leave it here? Yeah, I've, got, I've only got two. Just two gold. That's not going to be enough. I need enough to make a, gold, a golden helmet, which is five. Or golden boots, but I'd prefer the helmet. And that is because there's a mob in the nether called piglins. And if you're not wearing gold, they hate you. If you're wearing gold... They'll trade with you. You'll be your, uh, you'll be their friend. I also want to get some more obsidian. You know, just for the future. Uh, that's It's not necessary right now. And I also want to find spiders. I want to kill some spiders, get some string so I can make the bow. And I absolutely need a bow when I'm in the nether. All right, so let's go and... When, when I'm back, I will show you everything that I got. And I'm back. I did not die, but boy, was it nuts. Um, I'm going to take you down into the, the cave in the ravine and just show you what I've done. But uh, before that, I'll just show you what I've gathered. So I got 16 gold ingots, which is great. That's definitely going to be enough. Uh, let me see. Did I leave anything out here? I did gather about, yeah, 24 iron ingots as well, so I've got that. And unfortunately, I didn't find any diamonds. Uh, 
that happens. You can just be unlucky like that. I did get a, a pair of golden boots from, uh, I believe it was a zombie. Uh, so we can put that in here. Oh, we've got 31 now. So we've got a uh, total of, let me just put these down here. So more than two stacks of iron and almost half a stack of gold ingots. Uh, we did get a bit more lapis as well. Yeah, so that was great. Uh, anything else in here? No. Uh, let me see. I should be able to find one more thing. There it is. Six string. I got it. So, uh, first thing, we're going to go down into the mine and... Uh, well, it's, I guess it's mine. Yeah, in the caves and stuff. And I'm just going to show you exactly what I've done. So we're in here, just, just at the entrance. And remember we had this little area here? It's actually lit up down there because I did find my way into that area. Now, I encountered a big problem. Now, when you're in ravines or some cave systems, got to be careful. That is weird. This is... Why is there green grass here? I have no idea. Um, so you need to be very careful when you are going into a ravine like this because you are going to encounter areas where there, there's a lot of spawning. So what I ended up doing was lighting up some areas up high. As you can see, it looks fairly well lit in here right now, but that's because I did something with my... Uh, with my settings. So I increased the light level so you can actually see better. However, yeah, as you can see, these guys are coming. Uh, this guy wants me, so I may have to deal with him. But yeah, that's fine. I did get rid of a bunch of uh, lava. <laughs> Come on. Really? Let's, let's go. Oh, come on, come on, come on. I dealt with so many mobs in here. This is ridiculous. Ah, oh, jeez, another one? Oh, you've got a shovel, too. So, I lit up as much as I could down low. Unfortunately, I, I didn't get to light up a lot of what's up there. Part of the issue with uh, this ravine and this cave system is that there are so many dark spaces. There were so many mobs in there. I was attacked by baby zombies multiple times. But I I did light this area up. Uh, if we go up here, so the top part of the ravine is lit up. Now that is an important thing to do. If you want to have safety in a ravine, start at the top, lighting everything up so that things above you cannot spawn and fall down. So I need to light up that tier and that tier and, you know, just keep going until this whole thing is lit up. And once it is, this is a very safe place. And if you want, you can even build in here. I'm not going to, but I will treat this as my mine, at least until we move. Now, because of all the mobs everywhere, I couldn't go and gather as much as I wanted, unfortunately. I also did some exploration. Now that's something that I'm going to do a lot of soon, uh, but I did find a couple of very interesting things. There is a snowy village off in that direction, but not only that, but in that direction there is something called an ice spikes biome, which is a rare one. Uh, you can see one of the spikes just appearing there. We will explore that another time. Uh, that is not our objective today. So what I need to do right now is grab those string and make our two new tools. The first thing I want to make is a fishing rod. Now these are very, very useful. Let me grab that. So with a fishing rod, all you need to do is go like this and the string like this, and there we go. So a fishing rod is an easy way, of course, to get food. You can use it to get fish, but the great thing about fishing 
is that uh, you can also gain a lot of, uh, I guess you can call them treasures. So you just cast, you right click, and it goes out. And you just have to wait. Now this is an unenchanted fishing rod, but one thing you can do while you're fishing is get enchanted fishing rods. We'll get into enchanting another time, but uh, what I would love to do is, oh, there we go, we caught something and that is our first fish. Uh, fish is really abundant. It is so easy to get. I usually live off of fish in Minecraft. It's probably my favorite meat to get. Uh, although next time I'm gonna show you a way to get a large supply of beef. But for now, I'm just going to do a little bit of fishing and yet another cod. I really want to get something other than just fish, you know? All right, so this is what we've caught. 15 cod, two puffer fish, and two lily pads. Unfortunately, we haven't caught anything else that is worth noting. Um, yeah, uh, I'm just going to stop for now because... We've got other things to do. The next thing I want to craft is a bow, and this is very important if we're going into the nether. Without this, you know what, we are going to probably have some problems with ghasts, and I'll show them to you once we go to the nether. So the bow is probably my favorite weapon. It is absolutely my favorite weapon. Uh, we need arrows. Now, I only have nine of these. Now, one of the reasons I was fishing is because I want to get a bow that has the infinity enchantment on it. And unfortunately, I, I didn't really get much, but I didn't fish for very long. So if you fish for quite a while, you'll start getting some really good fishing rods and some really good bows. Now, I'm just going to come in here and I'm sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> Uh, let's just throw these in here because, you know, they could be chickens. Nope. So what I just got was a feather. Now you need feathers if you're going to make arrows. Another thing that I have found is, uh, not in this one, in here, we, uh, let me see, do we have any flint at all? Mm, I don't see any. There we do. We have flint. So flint comes from things, uh, well, it comes from, there it is, gravel. So if you use a shovel on gravel, or anything else on gravel, there's a chance it might break into flint. Now to make an arrow, you need, well, here's the recipe right here. You need a flint, a stick, and a feather to make four arrows. So now I have 13. That's okay. 13's okay. I, I could do with more but yeah now the other thing that I want is I, I do want the other flint and one iron ingot why is this important well if we're gonna go to the nether we need to make a flint and steel now, this is very very simple you just put a flint in and an iron in and there you go flint and steel this can be used to light things on fire. If you right click on something, like right here, there we go, fire. Left click and it goes out. Just be careful. Don't light your trees or your house on fire, it'll burn down. But I have fire tick turned off so it won't spread. Now it's time for the pop quiz. Number one, do you prefer mining in a tunnel, a ravine, or a cave? And number two, what's your favorite item to catch while fishing? You can let me know in the comment section below. If we're going to go to the nether, we need another thing. We need some gold armor. So I'm just going to make a golden helmet. And that will keep the piglins from attacking me once they see me. And we need to make the actual nether portal. Now, where... Are we going to put it? Well, I'd prefer to keep it away from the house because it, it's noisy. It's really noisy. I'd like to put it somewhere at least somewhat nearby so I can easily get back into home. Uh, but where would be good? 
I think I'm going to look for a place and we're going to build it together. So I'm trying to sleep right now. We have a spider who decided to spawn underneath the deck. And I'm not sure if it's very safe to go after him right now. But we'll see. Let's take a quick look. Ouch, 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 ouch. <laughs> that was a bad idea. Okay. If I can ju just draw him out, that'd be great. That is one of the issues with uh, having a little, some dark spots underneath. There's a chance that something is going to spawn, and let me see. I'm kind of wondering if it's under here. There it is. It's right there. Okay, so to solve that, just put a torch in there, light it up, and uh, we should be able to sleep now and to pass the night away. That was not fun. There we go. So I think uh, I'm going to put the nether portal right in here. So just dig back a little bit. Make this look interesting, I think. I, I don't want this to be just a plain old looking nether portal. I like to decorate things. And if it's plain, it's, you know, it's kind of boring, isn't it? So uh, let's get this out. And I'm going to put this in like this. So let's grab this. So when you're making a nether portal, the... Uh, the portal size, the interior dimensions, has to be two by three, so two wide and three high. So I'm going to be going like this, then up, and that's going to be a little high for me to reach like that. So that's uh, one, two, and three. But I need one more layer up top. So right up here. Okay. Now, before we light this up and go through, I want to make this look interesting. So we're going to use some cobblestone and some andesite around here. Just make it look uh, look like it's been here for a while and it's a bit decorated. I want to have a few different kinds of stone in front. I'm going to make some stairs as well. And we can just decorate all around it. Make it look like... As I said, it's been here for a long time, and it's ancient. Yeah. Sometimes it's it's good to give lore to your places. So this has been here so long, we don't know who built it. And this is just a really simple look here. I'm not going for anything really complex at the moment. We'll dress it up a bit more later and for now just cover this up so I'll be right back all right so this is my really simple de design here but to add a little bit of an overgrown touch we're going to add some leaf blocks make this look like it's definitely overgrown including some stuff up here you know you can have a bush coming up and growing right over the top if you want I think that would be interesting. So coming down like this, and yeah, that, that'll be good. I'll just make it look a little bit more organic. Let's see how that looks. <laughs> it needs to be a bit wider. Uh, I've got three left, so how should we place them? Looks a little odd like that, so um, place it like this. Maybe one, not one here, because that's that's a slab here. And, yeah, I think that will definitely help. Let's see how it looks. Ouch. One left if we need to do anything else. Just an extra one bit there. How about that? Uh, we could do with some more. It would look better with some more. Yeah, I think we got it this time. Uh, one more thing is I don't like having this in the back, so I want to replace this with something a little more attractive. So we'll just put in some stone, which I've already put away. There we go. 
some regular stone and a bit of andesite so there we go we are done and what does that mean well we're going to take a look at what's in the nether we're not really going to do too much there we just want to scout out and see what kind of place we have spawned in uh let's make sure that we've got full health and uh i'm gonna want to have this ready i want to have i don't need this in there i want to have sword ready i've got 13 arrows should probably also have this in the offhand so we are ready to go and the golden helmet the sun is up fairly high so we won't be in long i just want to take a quick scout around uh, let me grab the torches uh because I'm, I'm not planning on going very far and uh ah i want cobblestone are we ready to go okay take the flint and steel right click and there we go so i'm gonna get the bow ready just in case we've got uh, a really dangerous spot here so here we go we have a good chance of uh finding us in oh actually this isn't too bad um although that's not good there we are in a warped forest and there are endermen everywhere warped forests are not the greatest places to be uh if you are afraid of endermen crimson forests are right here uh, crimson forests are the ones that are full of piglins and hoglins hoglins are dangerous they will attack you but once you kill them you get free food uh, there is a zombie piglin in there and that looks about it and i don't see anything else that is very helpful right now we've got what's up there ah hoglins we've got hoglins up there not safe okay there is a baby piglin right there don't like this at all because this is a dangerous spot so we're just gonna retreat for now uh oh hoglin's coming okay now because of where we are there is a chance that something's gonna come through and i would highly recommend building a fence all right there we go that should be safe for now i don't think we'll have much of an issue with anything coming through so that's the nether uh, i don't want to make this all about the nether right now because well we need to make sure that we're ready and i would like to build a bit of a shelter around the portal so that uh, nothing can uh, harm us once we get through because there are a lot of hoglins the hoglins are the the native pigs the animal pig in the nether and they are dangerous they will attack you piglins on the other hand they're neutral that's the reason for the reason for this golden helmet is because they like people that ha that are wearing gold if you're not wearing gold they will attack you and kill you the uh zombified piglins however they're neutral they they won't harm you unless you attack first otherwise they're pretty harmless now it's time for your homework take a screenshot of your nether portal and what's in the nether on the other side and post them on my discord server in the homework channel now, if you didn't go to the nether that's okay but uh, if you did then please let me know what kind of biomes you have over there that would be great to see uh, of course uh, there are a few different places where you can end up but um you know, I'm I'm interested in where I ended up because there's a lot of things there that I can use for building, and that is exciting. Next time, I'm thinking of adding something to the episodes, and that is the best comment from the previous video. So if you had a really great comment, I'd like to post it onto the next video. So let me know what you think about that. Uh, if you like the video, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in joining Minecraft School, then please consider subscribing. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.